Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is November 25th. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. So I'm out here in the garden harvesting some vegetable to have uh, for dinner today. And it's such a gorgeous day, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, sunny and just beautiful. So I thought I'll give you guys a final, final update of the peppers and show you a little bit of the, uh, it's sort of like a garden tour. So, um, Again, happy Thanksgiving and here we are. So here is my patch of peppers. I've used so many of these already. I made um, uh, chili oil out of these and I posted a video recently so you guys can check it out. It's amazing. These are just beautiful peppers and they taste so good in chili oil. I mixed with a few sugar rush which I will show you uh, shortly. And here's some more peppers here and every time I pick them it seems like they keep putting back even though it's already uh, coming to uh, end of the season I'm still getting a good amount oh and somebody asked uh, about the aloe in the last video look at this I've separated the pubs and I've gotten like uh, 20 uh, recently and then now I'm getting more again look at all these pubs that are coming out so throughout the season, uh, within like the six months period, I probably got uh, over 20 pubs for, the, for this guy. And you see at the bottom, I've cut a few of the leaves and I, I use them every so often. So I have a few more in the garden, which I will show you shortly. There's some more aloe over there. And I got a ton of succulents all over the place. Because these here, see, see they just drop leaves like this. And even on cement, they grow. You see, they're that simple. So when um, uh, people are struggling to um, propagate this, I'm not sure why, but maybe it's the variety. Uh, these are, um, uh, I'm not sure, I think they're ghost uh, plants or something, but they're just amazing plants. And every time the leaves fall, and as I mentioned, even on cement, it just sits there and then it propagates itself. So I have a gazillion of these everywhere. So I'll show you more. You see that? It dropped on the cement and there it is, baby plants. And here too, you see? <laughs> these are just ridiculous plants. So they're, they're everywhere. So I, sometimes I drop a leaf like that and then those plants grow and then I have See, succulents in there. That's because I threw a leaf in there. Okay, and I have more succulents here. These are just gorgeous. And again, you see that? Every time a leaf drop, it grows a new plant. I mean, they just grow all over the place. And some more aloe that I separated. Some lettuce here and more succulents you see <laughs> they're just all over the place i've been trying to give this away to some friends that are close by and they're they're supposed to pick that one up but uh they haven't had a chance yet okay and some hydroponic solar power stuff that i'm working with is so much fun just set it forget it and just pick leaves as you need them some more here look at these i picked a ton of leaves off of these letters right here you see every time you pick them they just keep growing okay and here you see that more succulents so I put a few uh, leaves here and some branches and they just keep growing all over the place and again look at this it dropped in, in on the cement okay here are some more lettuce spinach which I will pick some for today and some new product I'm working with here some lettuce seeds that I threw there okay and here are my bottles peppers these are peppers in a bottle still alive and kicking it's ridiculous they're sitting sitting outside and producing peppers got some herbs here in the bottle and they're producing flowers now some more peppers here these are gonna be a really neat variety I'll show you guys soon if they do produce big enough peppers and then I have some more aloe here. 
and these baby pepper plants the one that produce like crazy these are lingria and even for a small plant in this pot look at look at all the pods and these are nice and spicy they taste really good too okay another of the same variety look at all these flowers they produce like crazy and here's another one you see this look how small that is and look at all those flowers and then I have more succulents look at that <laughs> they're just all over the place they're beautiful too and some these are chocolate lingria very nice and sweet and I, I keep eating these guys every time I'm in the garden and these are the real lingria these are the F4 I think they produce really beautiful peppers they're at the end of the season now so they're kind of dying back but these are gonna be for seeds which I will give out soon they're just gorgeous plants and these are very nice and spicy kind of sweet and they have like see these cool stingers at the end they look really cool when the plant is full and in bloom it's beautiful okay and my solar power pepper plant I thought it died so I removed the solar panel and it's it lived <laughs> half of it died but then this half is still alive okay and here is my bed of arugula radish and perpetual spinach some romaine these are salad bowl lettuce they're just beautiful lettuce look at all these seeds that they will produce from one plant you will have thousands of seeds to grow for the next season if you want and that's what they look like they produce really beautiful yellow flowers and the bees love them and look at this we're almost in December and I still have cucumbers and these are radish which I will uh, harvest soon to make kimchi you see these here beautiful radish they're they're pretty much ready see? big bulb down there got about five or six of those which is perfect and I eat the leaves very often here's perpetual spinach these are just gorgeous plants they they're just easy to grow and they produce so many leaves so grow these guys they're just great um, cool weather plants so uh, it's a good one to add these are romaine and they don't grow very well right now because you see this wall here it blocks the Sun from getting to these guys so they, they they grow very slowly as opposed to the other plants that get a lot of Sun and arugula lots and lots of arugula I've been eating this throughout the season so they just keep coming back every time you cut them more perpetual spinach they do the exact same thing as arugula harvest the leaves and then new leaves will grow you will have this for the entire uh, winter or, or the fall months like three or four months they, they maybe longer that's how long they will produce and I think they will overwinter in Texas so I'll, I'll have these next year hopefully and here are some more arugula that I threw inside uh, the pot where the trees are standing lots and lots of them so I, I've been eating a lot of these just pick leaves and they keep coming back okay here are some more stuff I have these are um, tobacco plant I grow these for fun <laughs> I don't know what to do with them but and they have beautiful flowers right here and the bees love these so it's kind of like a a cool plant See, the plants are really beautiful or the flowers and here I have this is Malagueta Thai cross from Peter Stanley man these thing this is a, a champion plant it grows all season produced like crazy pots everywhere and I mean I can't use all of this and I made chili oil with these as well they're great so check out Peter and talk talk to him about this cross it's just great 
um, heavy heavy producer you see this here well this is end of the season already so they're kind of dying back but they produce so heavily with these huge pods right here pretty big almost like a size of a uh, those um uh, jalap jalapenos okay i have white tie here still producing great still eating them fresh is the best so every time i need them i come out here and get some these are culantro guys I grow these these are i guess weed in some area but i love these things they're great if you ever make salsa man put this in here and you will get like this tropical flavor that you would probably add every time you make salsa again and these are um what are these i forgot sorrel yes these are sorrel one of my favorite herb to grow they're perennial because they come back every year so you will see this plant in the same spot and every time you pull i love the way uh, they grow because when you harvest the leaf this is how i usually do it i pull it and the whole thing comes out so that way it's easy to clean at the bottom because some plants you pull it it breaks this you pull it the whole thing comes out like that look at that so you cut the bottom piece off uh, the stem actually tastes like lime so uh, if you want to clean them out just harvest leaves from the bottom and you make the the, the plant nice and clean so uh, I, it's good to maintain them that way and these are my sweet lingria oh sorry a sweet linzo and man i love these things because i just come out here and i'll i'll just eat them mm -hmm. nice and sweet with a peppery flavor just delicious there's a little tingle but nothing that would be alarming so for those that love very low heat peppers i would say the heat is like like a a little bit more than a bell pepper but the flavor is fantastic so i always eat them when i come out here and look at this they produce a gazillion pods and they're pretty late season so these are usually produced later but once they produce you can't stop them <laughs> it's just lots of peppers and they they have like little clusters and which is also the reason why i love them they just produce in clusters there's more aloe back there you see that these are solid bow lettuce vegetable chrysanthemum amazing that i showed you that early in hydroponic propagated rosemary i cloned these from a larger bush i'll show you in a bit and here is my prize plant for the season this is the peach pumpkin can't start peach pumpkin beautiful variety it is enormous look at the size of those trunks and i get my lizard friends come visit all the time they're always on here so even late still getting lots of peppers i'm gonna pick them very soon and then overwinter this plant because i love this variety look how big that trunk is it looks like a, a small tree and then i think these are hornets i forgot you see but i'm not sure because i lost the label and i don't want to mislabel but look at that it's pretty crazy looking with a little stinger and a little thorn which is the characteristic of my hornets but because i lost the label i don't want to misgrow or mislabel anything so i'm just gonna use those peppers and let it go uh, more arugula and these are the mini these are the 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 chocolate uh, lingria these are nice and sweet also look how small they grow sometimes they grow really big sometimes they grow really small i think the reason for this is because i had it in a cup and when i moved it out here it was already producing peppers see arugula here they grow enormous i've been using all of those leaves there these are my almost three year old um, beets 
beautiful purple color. Look at the, the root. I think it's enormous down there. It's probably the size of a, a large apple. More beets. I love beets. I grow them for leaves. So that's why they're bunched together like that. I don't really care for the roots too much. And here is my um, Super Pekin. And I post about these uh, pretty recently. They don't produce um, enough seeds. So of all of these pods here, I'll probably get like maybe five or six seeds, less than 10. And my star fruit, <laughs> end of the season. The, and it produced one star fruit. So that's not gonna make it. Look at that beautiful color on my uh, persimmon. This plant, I, I love this tree. You guys, if you have a garden and you have space, grow persimmon, the Fuyu variety, because they are so easy to grow, you do really nothing and they grow. And they produce delicious fruit, so sweet, and lots and lots of them. And even in the fall, they look pretty. So it's a, it's a great uh, tree to grow in, in, in general. One of the best. So I highly recommend Fuyu. Uh, persimmon and here are some stuff that I'm just uh, growing for fun uh, these are cilantro spinach no actually the arugula here's spinach radish and uh, this is uh, celtis lettuce so you use these for the stems and because this area doesn't get enough Sun right now because of the wall because uh, you know in the winter the sun the sun shifted into a different direction so it doesn't grow as fast as it should but they are cool weather plants and they will grow very fast with enough sun okay and the rosemary that I mentioned these are probably three or four years old I, I propagated these guys from a branch this size right here and then look how big they are I've used so much and I I've given so much away I mean I just have so much uh, rosemary that there's no way I can use all of them and then sage and finally the herbs here is the um, Thai basil that I finally allowed to go to flower so with Thai basil you always want to pluck off all of the flowers in order for them to produce beautiful leaves to use once they produce flowers the leaves are going to be tiny and they they're not going to be good anymore uh, or not as good so don't let them flower if you grow them but towards the end of the season let them flower I normally grow like uh, two bushes or four or five plants and then one plant I will let go to flower because the bees love them and the other I won't let them flower because I need to use them so I share them with the bees but at the end of the season I let them all flower and that's what they look like okay some more arugula you can tell that I love arugula and onions are easy to grow they'll grow throughout the winter even in the snow and here is my sweet linzo but this is the hot one so uh, it's a little bit different. The weird thing is I grew them from the same parent tree or plant and then I get different variation. One is hot and one is not. And that there is my mini habanero. I, I gather all of the pods already. Oh, maybe there's, a, there's one or two left. But these are really neat variety, you see? They're like little jelly beans. And uh, they're, they're not too much flavor in them, but they have really good heat. So when you eat it with whatever food it is, the, it takes on the flavor of the food. So it's a great variety overall. Uh, you get the heat, but not much of a flavor. So you get the food flavor. And here is my special chocolate ghost. This is a very different variety. Sometimes it has a little stripe. They're, they're not like the normal ghost, chocolate ghost. They're much smaller, very compact. Uh, flavor is about the same, but they're just beautiful. Uh, too bad they're not changing color, so I would, I would love to show it to you guys. But I'm definitely taking this guy inside. It's, it's a, I love this variety. I'm not sure who, who grows this. I'm not even sure if there's seeds out there, 
Um, this is one of the chocolate ghosts that I had um, in 2015 and I decided to grow it again and uh, it, it just it's not it doesn't look like a normal ghost okay and here is some more super Pekin so I'm waiting for this pod to ripen up so I can collect seeds for them uh, these are slightly bigger but they're very nice and tasty and these are also Peter's variety same thing this is the uh, Malagueta Thai but this is the more compact one so I grew like four plants and this is the only one that came out small but it, it is a heavy producer you see I collected so many already and I couldn't use any more so I left them and you see they're drying on the plant and here I have some radish I love radish for the leaves I, I hardly use the roots but those are these are some of the plants that uh, you should consider growing because you can use the leaves as well as uh, as the bulb so most radish you can do that I'm not sure there's one that you can't but I grow the uh, the purple kind these are the Chinese kind um, and then I use I grow the Korean kind which is the mu the mu radish used for kimchi see these are the purple kind here you see the, the roots are kind of purple also and then we have ahi omni color I love this plant here it just gorgeous throughout the season produce a lot they're just beautiful you see their omni color because you can see their colors everywhere you have purple white orange red and then this one here is actually the same thing but it might have been crossed because look at the size of these pods it looks this it's about the size of this sugar rush they're very large and it doesn't go up because it's so big it points down you see oops and I love this too because they're nice and sweet a great variety to grow for beginner who don't like too much heat but they want flavor it's a little bit tropical it's more fruity than peppery so that's a that's a bonus and here is my Texas chocolate bonnet not looking great towards the end of the season and here is the sugar rush and you see looks just like the Omni color except it's peach so I'll pick a pot and I'll compare I'll show you I love this too they're nice and sweet these are another sweet variety you should consider because they produce like crazy and they're really big pods you see that's why the, the plants are hanging down because the pods are so heavy so here sugar rush peach and then the omni color or the omni color cross whatever very similar until they change color okay some more vegetable I'm growing and look at this towards the end of the season and I'm still getting cucumber so onions and these are amaranth the white version and this is the red version and then comfrey I grow this bush over here and I collect the leaves and I just put it in the soil and those are used as fertilizer and Mizuna these are Mizuna I love Mizuna they uh, I did a video on this before it's basically um, uh, the type of vegetable that tastes like a um, mustard and arugula so I love arugula so Mizuna is just a winner for me and they have so many leaves you just cut a few to use and they keep growing back and uh, the stems here you can pickle the stems and they're so good I think you go to Japanese restaurants they will serve these because it's a it's a Japanese vegetable and then these are Malabar spinach and it's the end of the season so nothing is left except the seeds and I think many people use these seeds uh, as dye for clothes and uh, I think also for food coloring but uh, I don't think you can eat these I mean I read that you can but I don't okay finally I have these beds of more these are perpetual spinach not growing great because there's not much Sun around this area 
and then got some radish these are Korean radish that I save for seeds you see here these are the seeds right here they're, they they're tiny seeds but they grow up to be this huge radish and this one is actually a, a few years old two years old you see like, it grew a bulb and then another bulb on top of that bulb <laughs> that's so funny because it's so old it's it's a few years old because I, I haven't pick them I just left them there so there's another one right there see a bulb and then kind of like a bulb on top of that so I use these for leaves until they produce uh, seeds and I collect these seeds to save for next season and I grow them here are the flowers got beautiful flowers and then once the the petal drop it changed it turns into this little thing here and it'll grow larger and larger and then uh, you eventually you change color and then once it dry like this you can pop it open and there's a seed in there and you can grow it right away or save it and then these are more Thai basil and I keep these around because the bees love them and we love them <laughs> so it's a great uh, herb to grow so make sure you grow some basil for the bees because you want those guys to come and visit your garden. And then last is the tomato, end of the season. I cloned these actually. And look at this, there's, there's, oops. There's two different kinds because I'm, I'm just doing, growing these for fun. And uh, that's the berries, crazy cherry. So they, they produce crazily. And I have some, uh, what are these asparagus yes these are asparagus so that's it guys that is the garden um, towards the end of November still looking great weather is beautiful so I may get uh, vegetable for maybe a few more weeks thank you for watching happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you in the next video